Hi Leo, hope you're well. Welcome to your reading. Today I'm going to pull your money and career energy, your love energy, and I'll see you coming and going. Now, if you have a certain amount of money you'd like to manifest, or if you have a specific person in mind, you can go ahead and like this video and subscribe. And if you are interested in scheduling your own personal reading with me, all the info you need is in the description box below. Now, for a totally fresh perspective, you can check out my wife's channel over at Empath Tarot. You will love her. And stay tuned till the end of your reading. We'll use Oracle cards and I'll pull your affirmation for today. And a final message from your spirit guides tying everything together. All right, so let's dive right in. Very interesting. Two of Cups. And right now you have the King of Wands letting you know that you have this very beautiful magnetic energy. It's almost like a green light above your head that makes you very attractive, approachable, and likable. People that want, not only want to romantically date you, but be your friend. This is a great time for doing business as well. So right now, Source is telling you that as long as you maintain this high frequency, what you are seeking is seeking you, and that's the only thing that matters. You never, ever, ever have to second guess whether or not you're going to meet your soulmate, whether or not you're going to be rich. These things are owed to you. This is your birthright. When you breathe air, Ah, do you have to ask permission? Do you second guess it? No, because it's your birthright. No one can tell you not to breathe there. Same thing here. Your angels and guides, they want to see you rich. Now, because of free will, they cannot make you do things to get there, but they can show you what to do. It's an Easter egg hunt, right? This whole thing is simulation theory. So right now, your angels and guides are telling you that you're very, very close to attracting all the right things. Maintain that high vibration. Now, how do you maintain that high vibration? First and foremost, think of the things that take you away from that vibration, right? Very simple. Number one thing they're telling you is stop worrying. Worrying is like paying a debt you don't owe. It is completely unnecessary. Now, why is that? Worrying is like walking into a bank and saying, hi there, I'd like to pay off some bills. And the bank's like, we don't have any bills for you. And you're like, oh, I'd like to pay bills anyway. And they're like, this is crazy. There's no bills. That's what's going on. Your angels and guys, they don't want you to worry. Now, we all got bills to pay. We're trying to meet our soulmate. I get that. But you can do those things without worrying. I'll give you a very quick, simple sports analogy. You're playing basketball. You have to make a hoop. Then you win the game. Now, bop, 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 bop. Do you either worry about making the shot? It's not going to work, right? You're going to miss. Or do you visualize the basket going in? Breathe in and then take the shot. Swish. That's it. So you can get everything you're looking for without worrying. It is completely unnecessary. All the, the entrepreneurs I knew, I knew in my lifetime, the ones that separate, the ones who, you know, hit that 10 million mark and the ones who separate the ones that tried but may have not worked was always the ones that made that big money. They always 100% knew it was going to get done. They're like, listen, we're going to learn on the way as we go. We're not worried about failure. If something happens, it doesn't work. We're going to figure it out. They, they had this, this conviction within them. They were able to visualize that business 10 years down the road already uh, doing well. And they weren't like nitpicking every single thing that happened, right? They weren't like, oh, it's like when it rains, it pours. That mentality doesn't work. I've been there. Trust me what I tell you. So right now, Source is telling you, this is a great time to start walking towards unlearning and relearning. And this is a great time. You got that eight of cups, the fool here. This is a great time right now to use your personality to create your personal reality. And that's what changes right there. Changes a breath of fresh air. And right now, if you want to get rich, if you want to meet your soulmate, you got to understand that you're looking for change. And that means instilling an excellent habit throughout your day. So for example, if you wake up, usually you eat breakfast, you go to work, you come home, eat dinner, go sleep. You got to throw in something in between. So maybe wake up, go for a walk, then go to work. Maybe before you walk into work, do a two minute meditation snack. Close your eyes for two minutes and don't think. Uh, uh, neutralize your frequency. Maybe right now when after work, maybe after you eat, grab your journal and just reflect on the day. Oh, you know, I did this today, it felt good. I did this, it felt that. I learned this, I learned that. Anything. But when you start instilling any sort of excellent habit in your life, you know, to live an excellent life, you got to have excellent habits. That's, you know, the good, good old stoic way. That's when change happens. Now, also regarding change, very interesting because you do got the devil here and you also have the page of pentacles. And right now, source is telling you that there's a money block here preventing some sort of energy from flowing. And right now, source is telling you that not to worry about this because you can turn your setbacks into comebacks because what you are seeking is seeking you. So what really means is whatever happened before in your lifetime, if it didn't go according According the plan, it will so you learn a lesson and collect data. That's called a, a setback turned into a comeback. So for example, like imagine you started a business, the business failed. Now, what did you learn? You learned you cannot have your overhead high. Great. Now, if you didn't learn that then, you would learn it now. Thank God it happened. So now you keep your overhead low or go online. Same thing with
same with people. Imagine you dated someone, they cheat on you. You're like, oh my goodness, I wasted two years. No, you didn't. When their smoke is fire, you know what to look out for next time, right? So source is telling you that you do not need to worry about stuff. All you have to do is quantum entangle what you're looking for and more importantly, not think of what you're not looking for. Now, very interesting because you got the three of cups and the page of cups. And your angels are telling you that help is on the way. This is beautiful right now. Source is telling you that your personality will create that personal reality. So how you think and how you feel creates your state of being. Your state of being creates your, your uh, reality. So right now, imagine this. Right now, imagine you're looking for someone to help you, guide you, mentor you, teach you. Imagine you're looking for a mentor. Like my whole life, I've had mentors. When I did my Amazon businesses, I had a mentor showing me what to do. That's why I'm a big advocate on education and courses. When I learned day trading, I had a mentor. When I learned uh, YouTube, uh, um, YouTube, we did on our own, but you know, you got to just do everything, you know, by learning from other people, right? Like, like basically I always, um, love to, you know, pay for an education because I understand that by doing so I'm going to save so much time and money by not making mistakes, right? You don't want to, you know, just, just go down that road sometimes. And right now source is telling you that this is a great time to either go back to school, to take a course, to learn something new, to, you know, Create some sort of change in your life. Bring a breath of fresh air. And not only is it exciting and fun, and not only is it passionate and blissful, but also this is how you let your angels and guys know that you're open for business and you're looking for change, right? And once they know what you're looking for, that's when they can help and guide you. Now you got the seven of pentacles and the nine of pentacles. You're about to make so much money very soon here that you're going to be able to pay off your bills and help others as well. But you got to remember like what consumes your mind controls your life. So for example, if you are waiting for this to happen, that's resistance. What resist persists. How you do anything is how you do everything. But if you visualize yourself already being rich for 10 years down the road, then this energy is not as serious anymore. And that's what you're looking for. So for example, rather than visualize yourself, you know, you can, you can if you want, but visualize yourself just winning the lottery. What I like to do is visualize myself, say, I won the lottery. It's been 10 years. That means I already bought a castle, a mansion, travel, donated money, charity, did all the things, right? Now I have a nice little lump sum for tired, invested. And now I wake up and I create art. I uh, sing, dance, draw. I, you know, go for swims on the beach. I, whatever it is that you might find interesting as retirement. For me, I would still day trade. For me, I would still have businesses because I need a sense of purpose. But when you start visualizing yourself 10 years down the road, it's not like unrealistic. It's almost like, oh yeah, I've been there, done that. And then that Ah, sigh of relief when you're not resisting that's when the ideas come of how to get there that's when the the networking collaborations third parties all of these things are able to help and guide you and right now source is telling you by using this mystical quantum magical spiritual realm energy that's when things start changing for you and you are becoming the cause and effect right so rather than wait for something visualize it already done this trick works it works like a, it not only does it work because it makes you feel good but what are you really doing so if there are an infinite number of realities and quantum entanglement has proven this that means there's a reality you're already rich and already retired so now when you quantum entangle with that energy you're inviting it into this realm so this is this is real science this is real like definitive proof stuff so right now try it out all right leo now time to get some money and love into your life time for your affirmation write your affirmation in the comment section this is how you let spirit know that you are inviting and welcoming abundance so your affirmation for today is i am compassionate with myself it takes time to heal yes it does this is you not putting pressure on yourself or worrying i am compassionate with myself it takes time to heal. Write this down in the comment section. And on top of that, in the comment section next to this, let me know if you like the purple in the background. Let me know if you like the purple in the background. One more time. I am compassionate with myself. It takes time to heal. Write that down in the comment section and let me know your thoughts on their purple. All right. Now, final message from your spirit guides. Final message is you have more options than you realize. All right. Now they say... It sure is hard to get really angry at someone when you can think of all the reasons you love them. And this really goes to show that like it's all perception, right? Whenever you lash out, whenever like I know, for example, whenever like I am upset with someone, whenever something is not working and I think that, you know, it's something else, it's never something else. It's always inwards. I'm always unhappy. There's something going on within me. So, for example, if someone does something to annoy me, I'm not like this person is annoying because honest to God, judging and comparing like that, it doesn't work. It's a flawed strategy. It's not the fact that they're annoy annoying you. It's the fact that you got annoyed 
when you're in a lower frequency, you will get annoyed. But when you're in a high frequency, you don't get annoyed. You're just like, oh, anyway, yeah, silly, silly person. Oh, this person. That's all it is. So that's why it's like any time that I something isn't working, rather than immediately blame the other person, right? Say if you have a spouse and you're like, oh, my spouse is not washing the dishes. I can't believe they're just so, you know, just, oh, they would never, you know, I can't. you just you get angry. Tell yourself, you know, like just be like, okay, why am I upset that they're not washing the dishes? Why do I feel like I'm not being hurt? You know, what can I do to change that? And that's when you really will get the results you're looking for. All right, Leo, hope you enjoyed reading. Hope there was a message in here for you. If there was, like this video and subscribe. I appreciate you. Till next time, chat soon.